Hey everyone, what's up? Today's video is gonna be a quick and easy DIY to make this baby mobile. I'm making this mobile for my niece who is currently one week old. Although she's so young, she already looks around so much and whenever there's motion, you can tell that she's drawn to it because she'll look at it. And she also is starting to pick up her head, which is just crazy to me. So I was talking with her mom and her nanny about how amazing she is and how she needs a mobile. We really think she'll like it. She'll like looking at it and maybe reaching for it. So I hopped on Pinterest to get some inspiration and then I ran over to Hobby Lobby to grab the supplies. I wanted to make sure and include how much I spent because it only came out to $12.61, which in my opinion is super affordable. So let's get right into it, starting with what you need. First thing I did was cut out all the tiny leaves. I did so by cutting a strip of the felt, folding it in half so that the leaves will be symmetrical and cutting a leaf shape. I also trimmed off the end so that it would be squared off like so. I did this in light, medium, and dark green. Next I cut out the larger leaves by tri-folding the remaining felt and cutting it into three equal sections, each of which is going to make three leaves. You want to make sure to have a rectangle at the end of each leaf so that you can attach it to the string easily. For that reason, I would cut this little flap to be the base for each leaf. To make a few of the leaves look like this, it's pretty simple. You just fold in a third of the leaf and make two slits, one on each side. Then you fold in the top half and you do the same slits but more at a diagonal. Then you just cut a curve from those slits and voila. That is all the leaves I made, so now it's time to move on from the leaves to the flowers. There are four different types of flowers. To make the first flower, you're going to take a piece of felt and fold it over about an inch and a half and cut that strip out. Then you're going to use the hot glue gun to glue the two ends together so that it makes kind of like a long tube. You're going to cut the end off at a diagonal and then you're going to make slits on the open side of the tube about three quarters of the way in and you're going to do this all the way down. When you get to the end, go ahead and cut off another diagonal. Then you're going to take the hot glue gun, put a little drop of glue on one end, and fold it over. Then you're going to just repeat this process all the way down, putting glue and rolling. Make sure you stick the end on really good, and there you have it, the first flower. The second flower is pretty simple to make. You're going to start by taking a strip of felt and cut that into six squares. Then you're going to take each of those squares and use it as a guide to cut into a circle. On the very last one, you're going to make the circle a little bit smaller and set that aside because that's going to be the base for the flower. On the other five, you're going to cut a slit from one part of it into the center. And then you're going to take one side of the slit and bring it over the other side and that will make the petal shape. So just use some hot glue to keep that in place. Then you're just going to glue each of the petals onto the base and overlap them. For the final step to add the middle, you're going to take black felt, make it into a circle, and it's going to be about this size compared to the flower. Then you're going to cut slits all around and cut some of the random ones out so it's a little more sparse. Add some hot glue, fold it in half, Add some more hot glue, fold it in half again, and then finally just use hot glue to glue that in the middle. The next flower is the rose, and you're going to start out with a big circle of felt, and you're just going to cut a spiral all the way through it until you get to the middle. Then you're going to go along the outer edge of the spiral and cut some scallops into it, so it's going to kind of look like petals. 
Just take some hot glue in the center and glue it close so that it makes a circle like the center of a rose. Then just start adding glue along the outside and placing the felt. Once you get to the end, make sure and glue it down really well and there you have it. Simple, easy rose and super cute. The final flower I made using the scraps from all the other flowers. So I just took these three strips that I happen to have. I made triangles all along one side of each strip and I cut the end really nicely because that's going to be the outside of the flower. Then I just used some hot glue to glue each strip together and again used hot glue on the end, folded it over just like the other flowers, glue and roll. Make sure you stick the end on really tight and there you have it, super simple and easy, kind of looks like a succulent to me. I used an X-Acto knife to help thread the string through the flowers, so I would stab it through the middle, make sure it poked all the way out through, then I would just kind of stab the string with the X-Acto knife and stick it through just like a needle, make sure it comes out the other end and pull the string easily. Then to keep it in place I just used some hot glue. To attach the leaves onto the string I would first place them where I want them. I'd use one finger to hold the string in place while I moved the part that's going to be glued out of the way. I just add a little bit of hot glue and place the string right on top. Finally I would just pinch the base of the leaf around it which not only helps it stay in place but also kind of gives it that rounded leaf looking shape. And here they all are. I decided to make 12 strings to dangle down. Before attaching all the strings, I first attached the ribbon that's going to hang the mobile up. So I put some glue on the ribbon and put it on the outside of the hoop. Then I added glue all around the bottom of the hoop and just placed the ribbon where the glue is. As you can see, this is how it's going to be held up. So I used the same string straight across the hoop and connected it on the other side as well. Double check to make sure it was even and then just glued it on the same way. I repeated this again going across the other way. Finally, I cut off some string to make a loop around the top, tied it in a knot to hold it, and then used some hot glue to keep it in place so that the knot would stay hidden. Prior to hanging each string, I would estimate about where I want it, then I would just place one on and make sure that it was in a good position. I'd use my finger to hold it in place while I put a drop of glue and attach the string to the glue so that I could check one last time to make sure I liked where it was at. Then I would put glue all along the inside and bottom of the hoop so that it's not seen as well and I would just place the string into the glue and wrap it around a couple times. I would trim off the end on the inside of the hoop so that it was kind of hidden and then I'd place a bunch of hot glue and blow on it for a few seconds so that it would cool down before I used my thumb to press the string into the glue so that it would be completely submerged and kind of sealed in. And that's how it looks. So then I just did that with all 12 of the strings. And there it is. I love how it came out. I think it's so adorable and really special that it's homemade. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and we'll get back into scamp life and travel life really soon. So if you're more into that, stay tuned. But yeah, thank you for your support. Bye.